Thanks for stopping in for another accident and incident. This one was ultimately uneventful, but really caught me by surprise, as these things always do. A shallow panic for apparently no reason when I found out the reason almost blew my mind. Stay tuned for the shallow panic with a surprise. <laughs> So I had two young people that came visiting Japan. So they were, they were just there for a short time. It was great when you can hook up with people who are traveling through Japan. They want to dive, and I happen to have a dive weekend on because you know, I, I, it's not worth it for me to make you know small trips for people, a small number of people. It just so it's great when it works out, and it worked out. Just for reference, the dive is at Izu Ocean Park. You see the pictures here. It's a wonderful place to dive. I highly recommend it if you dive in Japan or going to visit Japan. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. My scuba Steve <laughs> dive <laughs> happened at Easy Ocean Park. Back to the story. I was on a dive with these folks and they were brother and sister. Either just the brother was with me or the brother and sister. And I had other dive leaders there with other people. Only the brother matters. <laughs> we were coming back, you know, since it was just me and him or me, him and her, you know, I was, I was keeping very close track of them, their air. I forget what our air term pressure was or anything. Everything was going perfect. And the brother, he had on um, all... I think it was rental gear. I can't remember if it was all my gear or some was a dive center. But what I do remember, he was wearing my loaner or rental dive computers. We were coming back to shore, you know, because he told me we reached our turn pressure. I was like, okay, we turn, we're coming in. He's telling me his pressure, we're good. He's telling me his pressure. You know, then we're in like six meters of water. We could have gone up at any time. You know, we'd been coming in. So basically we had kind of already done enough of a safety stuff. But anyway, we had another 30 meters to, to swim to the exit and you know we were gonna certainly finish our safety stop on the way and we could have come up anywhere there it, it's all there's no current there's no waves uh, on that day we could have come up at any time and just surface wind it in but I was it's a lot easier if, if you come in down below he motions to me he, he says hey I've got 50 bar so that's a quarter of a tank and we're at six meters five meters so for me that that's okay that's I mean you don't want to be at 18 meters with a quarter of a tank or at 30 meters with a quarter of a tank. But if you're at, you know, for me at five, six meters and we're 30 meters from the exit and, and we could go up here if we wanted to, 50 bars okay for me. You know, I'll go down in that situation. I sometimes in, you know, three, four, five meters of water, I'll, I'll use up maybe down to 20 bar if, you know, if I could just go up any time and there's still interesting stuff to see, which there was, I'll take the tank down, down real low at the exit area. Your mileage may vary. Please do whatever your instructor or dive master says. That's what I'm gonna do in a comp situation. He tells me he's got 50 bar and I say, yeah, we're okay. And we continue to swim. Like 30 seconds after that, he bolts to the surface. And I, I wasn't close enough to him to, to hold on to them. As I'm going up to get him, I see he's at the surface. He's pulling off his gear. He's throwing his mask. He, he, I see him throw my dive computer. And I specifically remember thinking to myself, Holy cow, I've only ever seen this in Patty training videos. Here it is. And I grab a hold of him and I, I inflate. I forget if his BC was inflated or not. If not, definitely I inflated his BC. And I start towing him in. And he's all panicked. And we go in. Yeah, I'm just, I'm freaked out because I'm like, wow, what happened here? Because that was a perfectly calm, everyone was stable, good buoyancy, everything was fine. What the heck? We, we go in, you know, we do a little bit of a debrief. You know, he's there, he's all like he's a sulky you know, to himself, and I don't want to get all invasive yet. Everybody's safe, everybody's out. I want to give him a little bit of space. Then I kind of, you know, I come up to him later and I say, hey, you know, Diver, Diver X was it? <laughs> Diver X said, so you know, what happened? And he said, oh, I saw, because on that gauge at 50 bar, it was red on the gauge. So the red made me panic. And, <laughs> and I think I had an asthma attack. And I was like, Asthma attack. Actually, I don't even know what, what agencies allow a certification with asthma. I, I, I'm not sure. You'd have to check. I know that now he doesn't. I know that Patty doesn't. The majors don't. There might be some minor agencies out there that will allow um, you to get certified with asthma. I know occasionally I've met people who tell me they have asthma. They're not diving with me, but they're divers I meet, and they say, look, it's under control. You know, I know when it comes on, I take medication before. That's their business. And I know that for me, asthma is an absolute contraindication to diving. But there are a lot of absolute contraindications. You can't go to every diver and ask them every contraindication. You know, if you have 15 divers on a weekend, it's gonna be a long weekend. Diver X has been diving with asthma that is not well controlled and that 
he said that the fact of you know seeing the the air low as he thought even though that the depth was not so deep he thought that that triggered his asthma and he went and and i never found that damn computer <laughs> i never found the computer um but man was that a lesson for me i mean like i said i, I don't think that you can you know you can't ask every diver every contraindication that blew me away it really did the, that someone would you know disclose something like that and he managed to get certified anyway let me set the stage here. So, as you know, everybody who comes to a dive event is going to fill out uh, a standard waiver release. Could be NAWI, could be PADI, could be some other organization. And basically it's saying you understand the risk, you accept the risk, there are these kinds of risks, for example, there are other kinds of risks, etc., etc., and you understand and voluntarily accept all of those risks, right? That is the waiver. There's nothing that I know of. I just looked at it to be sure. There's nothing that the waiver has that says, oh, and I understand, you know, I don't have any of these illnesses or any of these contraindications because I understand they're dangerous. As far as I know, none of the releases I've seen have that in there. So after this incident, I contacted a buddy of mine, uh, Reef Encounters down in Okinawa, highly recommended, and he recommended using uh, a two-part sheet. So on one side or one part is the standard release and then on the other part or on the reverse is a medical release and it looks like this. As you can see, it's a standard medical release that has all the major contraindications there and it asks someone specifically to say yes or no, do you have any of these? So especially with a diver that you don't know who's coming from overseas or a first time diver with your operation, you can, you can kind of screen them and say, hey, is there anything you want? Is there anything you want to tell me <laughs> right and see what they say and in this case that would have helped me so after this event i started using the two-part although i've got to admit i don't use this anymore but i might make one up and uh, restart that as i'm listening to this event i'm like oh my gosh i really want to know about this sort of thing so that's something if you're a dive op that you could use i'm sure there's lots there to to post up about for for folks if you want thanks for joining again you can really support the channel by commenting. That helps apparently. And subscribe. We're climbing that mountain of, uh, of 1,000 subscribers. I'd be happy to have you on board if you could help us be one of the people who makes it there. Thanks, and see you safely diving on the beach next time. Without asthma, I hope. More of that, please. More of that, my girl. I mean, I...